Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to another Creator Sim video here on my channel. We're doing things a little bit differently. This actually feels like an old school Creator Sim that I used to have with like the cute little intro and everything. It seems very wintry and very festive. This is not a festive Creator Sim. I mean, I guess it could be because the characters that I'm recreating do live in Canada, which is always snowy, which is why I set the scene with that cute snowy introductory like trailer bit. But I am recreating some characters from the TV show Winona Earp. So I decided to recreate Nicole Hort or Officer Dimples, as she is more informally known, and Waverly Earp. I have recently become obsessed with this show. I actually got to see Kat Burrell at Clexicon, and I had never watched Winona Earp before, like, sitting and listening to her, like, one-on-one -on -one panel. But the way she spoke about the show and then also like I've seen like gift sets and stuff because obviously my Tumblr is hella gay. So I have seen bits and bobs of this show but I never like actually sat down to watch it. But if you follow me on any social media, Twitter, I've also been talking about this show on my live streams and stuff because I don't do things half-heartedly. When I become addicted to something, I go all out. And I watched all three seasons of this show in a week, which I'm actually really proud of because it's been a really long time since I sat down and just like treated myself to a binge watch of anything really. And then once you add this show's like goodness to that, then it's just a part of happy molly. So if I influence you to watch anything over the festive period, whilst you're off school, whilst you're off work, whatever, if you're looking for a box set to just binge out on, I have to recommend Winona Earp. It's available on Netflix, at least the first two seasons are available on Netflix. That's where I started watching it. And then I actually went out and physically bought the third season off iTunes. I haven't bought anything off iTunes in probably four years, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I bought it on iTunes. I was like, I have to continue. And that's how obsessed I have been. It has badass female leads. It has paranormal, sci-fi, like demons. It's just so good and it has some of the best LGBT rep I have ever seen. So the characters, back to who I'm creating. Nicole Hort and Waverly Earp. These two are like the main LGBT rep on the show. I seriously fell in love with both of them and so I had to recreate them in The Sims. A couple of people have actually done this, but with like custom content and everything like that, I was like, you know what? I could get these two looking how they look in the show. Obviously, I had to add in Officer Hort's Stetson hat. That's what they call it, right? I'm fairly sure it's called a Stetson. I had to add in her cowboy hat. I couldn't resist. I am hoping it comes back for season four. If you are a fan of the show, you know about the Stetson. So this is me hoping it makes a return. And I also really want to quickly mention how much grief that damn freckle gave me. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize how badly the game is lacking like freckles and like beauty marks until I tried to find something like that, but on the opposite cheek. So the one that Nicole currently has on is from base game. And I was like, why did they not just recreate a mirror image of that beauty mark 
to the other side of the face. It could have been a second swatch, but no, the Sims team made me go out for about two hours this morning to try and find a beauty mark that was on the opposite cheek because I wanted this to be as realistic as possible and it just screwed me over so badly. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw my really long thread about trying to find this damn beauty mark and I could not find it anywhere. I finally think I already had one in my game by Praline Sims. So if you guys want to know like any of the CC that I used in this video, I will try my best to leave like the most popular requests in the description. And then if you want to know like anything specific at all, then just ask me down in the comments and I will try to find a link for it. Be aware that I am away from my computer this weekend, so I might not get back to you straight away, but I will try and reply to the messages who are asking for like specific custom content because I did use quite a bit on these sims and as always they're gonna be up on my gallery again I am away from my pc so they might be uploaded either sunday evening or monday morning I will try to remember to add them to my gallery I promise I'm trying to get better at that if you want these two in your game so Nicole was actually really easy to make I don't know what it was about her but the sim just like fell into place so easily and then Waverly was so difficult. I don't know what it was about this sim that I struggled with the most, just like her face in general, which sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. Like she's gorgeous. I think that was like my issue. I was getting so in my head because creating a sim to me is like an artistic process. Like this kind of sim is kind of like, you know, people draw fan art, people write like fan fiction and stuff. I prefer to create characters that I like in The Sims. Sometimes I'll play a game with them and like that's my way of like getting everything kind of out of my system. But this sim just caused me so many issues. You will probably see me like mess around with her for like half an hour. I think it took me like a good hour to get this sim looking like anything I wanted it to look like. But then the most annoying thing was I changed her hair and bam, she just like instantly looked like Waverly. All I had to do that whole time was change the hairstyle or like add a hair on. But instead I just sat there and was like, this is so finicky and I want to try and like do it justice. It just wasn't working out for me put on a new hairstyle and bam, it was like instantly wavily. I feel bad calling it it. I mean to say she, I apologize. <laughs> and now I don't know what to do in this video. Like I used to just play music, but I do quite like talking to you guys about the process as well of creating Sims because I know a lot of you are like into that. And there are some like really cute photos of these two coming up at the end. I know that feels like super baity, but I promise you they are adorable photos. I actually just figured out four years into The Sims 4, five years, four years, I think it's four. And I've only just figured out how to use Pose Player. So there's some really cute pics of Wayhor coming up at the end of this video. So keep an eye out for that. But I don't know whether I should play music or just keep talking to you guys. I feel because it is like a Winona Earp create a sim that I would have to play country music and then I feel like I would probably lose at least half of you because you know country music can be very divisive. It's kind of like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it, although I don't actually fall into either of those regions. I used to love country music and then I kind of lost interest in it a little bit and just kind of listened to whatever nowadays. I mean, I don't have like a genre that I'm really into, I just listen to a whole load. What has this video become? I'm now talking about music. Right now on screen, I am struggling to choose a hairstyle for Waverly. Again, 
you can always tell I'm struggling with a sim when I like move things around. I'm never a hundred percent. If I'm still like playing with facial features, if I'm still clicking and dragging, that's when you know that I'm not a hundred percent happy with the way that they turned out. However, her fashion sense definitely happy with the way that that turned out because we actually have a lot in our game that kind of represents Waverly's fashion sense. There's a lot of crop tops, there's a lot of smart trousers, and there's a lot of skinny jeans. So that was super easy to do because we have all of those items in our game. Although I think I did use custom content for her smart trousers in this specific outfit. Her fashion style is actually super close to my own, which I love. Like I loved seeing someone who was representing the LGBT community and yet also had like quite a, I mean, I can be tomboy -y when I want to be, but I also have like quite a feminine fashion sense as well. So it's really nice to see that represented on TV, which again, is just one of these things that this show does so well. And I keep going on and I'm not gonna drop it because I just want this show to get the support that it deserves. So if you guys have actually watched this show, I just want to know who are your favorite characters? Who do you like connect with? I would say I probably connect with, mm, I wish I was as funny as Winona, but it's just, it's just not the case. I'm just not that witty or, or that quick or that smart when it comes to my humor. So probably not her. I would say I most correlate to Waverly. But again, I just don't know if that's because we have like the same kind of fashion sense. So maybe that's what I'm like gripping onto. Or maybe I just think my fashion sense is as good as hers when in reality, I look like the target version of her. I don't know what I'm even saying. We don't even have target over here in the UK, but that's the best comparison. Why didn't I say an English brand? I could have said the Tesco value version of Waverly. That's me. Wait to sell yourself. But enough rambling from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Like I said, if you want to know any of the custom content, then just leave a question down below asking me where I got a specific item, if you want to have it in your game. And if you do end up watching this or if you have already watched it, then please feel free to yell at me on all social medias about it because I I am always happy to talk about that kind of stuff. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun creating these sims. I'm probably actually gonna play as them. If you guys want to download them, they will be on my Sims 4 gallery, which is just English Simmer with a capital E and a capital S. So you can go download them over there. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.